What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jeffrey from PSR Parts and today we are going to explain to you why you would need a FEM to unlock to tune your BMW if it's from after July 2020. So to be able to tune your car, most of the time it means we have to reach the ECU by either benching it, uh, using the OBD or boot it. These ECUs are normally locked from the factory after July 2020. It means that you cannot reach the ECU with any tuning tool right now unless you unlock the ECU. So why would you want to remap your car? There are several reasons why you want to do that. For example, you're installing a downpipe or an OPF, um, so you have to get rid of the error. If you have a car with OPF and you do not do something about the uh, OPF delete and um, you run the car, it means the car will get into a limp mode means the car is actually undrivable. With the downpipes, your car will get a check engine light if you go for catless or a less cleaner one like a two and cell. And that check engine light will be right in your face at your dashboard all the time. And that's of course something that you do not want. It's in most countries also an MOT failure if, if the dashboard light is lit up, which means you have to uh, ride it out. Right now, on these cars, if your car is from after July, 2020, you cannot do that. So um, if you change something on your exhaust, it means you are actually stuck with the uh, original software. And also, of course, when you want to tune the car. So if you want to remap the car to a stage one, stage two, stage three, you name it, it means your ECU is locked and you cannot do that on the ECU. And if you remap the car on the ECU, you can um, change a lot of parameters that are, that are used for uh, rewriting the software and that's something that is, of course is necessary for example if you go for a stage 2 or a stage 3 you want to optimize the issue even further while having the uh, benefits for on, of writing the issue on any parameter that you need to do and for who is this then if your car is from July 2020 plus onwards it means most likely your car is locked so how do we unlock that then if your car is from July 2020, it means you have to unlock the ECU by shipping it to Femto in Finland. We can do that for you. We'll take the ECU out, ship it to Finland, make sure it arrives safely. They will do the unlock for us and we can put the car here safely in the corner without touching it until the ECU arrives back. Once it arrives back, we can write the software. We can do the stage one, stage two, stage three, anything you want. So <clears throat> it means for Rewriting the ECU, you have to take out the ECU, ship it first, then we can write it. And that is of course something that we have to keep in mind when we do modifications on these July 2020 onward cars. These BMWs um, sometimes also get locked when they are older. This one is from 2019, this one is fine, but actually you can only check it once we try to reach into the ECU. So what is the lead time then? Normally if you remap the car, uh, you have to take into account a few days for the shipment, a few days for the uh, unlock, and then a few days for the ECU to come back. At least in Europe, of course, in different countries, uh, it might differ from um, our lead times here. And um, to reach the ECU, you have to, of course, physically take it out. So you have to also, you have to also take Keep in mind that there's a little bit of labor involved. For the BMW six cylinders, you have one ECU. For these V8s, you have two ECUs. So that will also cost more. It will be uh, more costly to do the ECU unlock on these cars, the V8s, than the uh, six cylinders. So every single ECU that is in the car has to be unlocked. For the BMWs with the four and six cylinders, you have one ECU. It means you'll be done with one ECU. For the V8s, um, you have to do you have to keep in mind that you have to ship two of them. Of course, it will also be more costly, so keep that in mind. So after the ECU has been uh, brought back, we can of course do the uh, ECU remap and you can then actually do anything to this car, um, anything you like. Stage one, stage two, just options, stage three. So there are a few things that we have to take care of when the ECU has been unlocked and when the car has been remapped. We have to uh, turn off the over-the-air updates and we have to make sure that the car, when it goes to a dealership, that it doesn't get updated. If it does, it means the unlock is gone and you have to do it all over again. 
So not only just the software, but also the unlock, which means we have to be very, really careful um, when we bring back the car to the dealership and we have to make sure that it doesn't get any over the air updates that can remove the software from the car. So once the issues are back, we will install, reinstall the issue for you. We'll remap the car for you, or you can reach it with uh, a different tool. However, not any tuner can reach the car. We have a special tool that needs to be uh, plugged into the car and that is only coupled to the Femto Unlock. So the Femto Unlock has a few options. We can work with the boot mod, MHD, and the Femto Flasher, OBD Flasher. Um, we work with the OBD Flasher, so we can rewrite the software with our own software. However, uh, if you wish to have the car unlocked, so you can um, rewrite the software with MHD or boot mode, that's of, of course also possible. We just need to arrange the shipment for you and the car can stay safely in a, in a workshop until the uh, issue arrives back. So there are of course are a few options that you can select when you want to remap the ECU. Um, the unlocks are different, so if you're unsure, contact us. We can help you further with the solution that you need for your car. And of course, we can do the installation for you, take the ECU out, ship it for you, and install it back for you. Make sure that everything is okay, and rewrite the software. That's all you need to know to be able to do the unlock. And why do we offer these services? Because a lot of people um, especially because the car, these cars are getting older and older. There are at least almost four years worth of BMWs with the new BMW ECU, Bosch ECUs that is, that are, un, uh, that are locked, which means we have to, uh, of course, have the service for you so you can unlock the car. Make sure that you can tune the car uh, because a lot of them are getting out of warranty and of course, a lot of them will be, um, modified with exhaust, downpipes, OPFs, OPF deletes, uh, tuning. And that's of course pity if you are not able to reach the issues. There are other solutions for that if you do not want to touch the ECU, but the best option is of course always to remap on the ECU if your car is no longer in warranty, then it's of course is a good option. So about the transmission, the transmission is not locked. So on these cars, there's a lot of confusion about if the ECU is locked, can I still tune the transmission? Yes, you can. If the software is available for these cars, you can tune the transmission uh, with, for example, XHP. We have done it on this car, for example, but uh, XHP is still available for cars with the locked ECU. It's a different kind of um, control unit. It's called the transmission control unit. So you can still do the transmission tuning when you desire to do so. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out with uh, deciding what to do with your car if your car is locked. And of course, if you're interested, we can do this service for you in combination with other modifications or just for a remap, stage one, stage two, anything. We can do it for you. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and see you next time.